I'm Kate from CrateInsider.com and welcome to our Tech Question of the Week series. Now this week our question comes to us from New York from Bobby Hackle and Bobby's going to win a Crate Insider prize pack. You can find out how to win at the end of this video. But Bobby asks, do you recommend running with an alternator or without for horsepower gains? Or is the voltage more important throughout the duration of the race? Now, anytime we talk about our alternators with crate engines, I know that it's going to be a complex issue. So to answer Bobby's question, I reached out to three different engine builders. I reached out to Brad Hibbard from Race One, Don Blackshear from Pace Performance, and Steve Hendren from Hendren Racing Engines. Now, here at Crate Insider, of course, we cover the CT525, the GM602, and the GM604. And with each of these, we're looking at different parameters. So it's, uh, I wish we could just have an easy answer to this question, but we don't. So let's first talk about 525s. It is the easiest. Since that engine uses a coil pack system for ignition, uh, it is a best practice to use an alternator with it. So that one's pretty simple and clear cut. Now, talking about the 602s and the 604s, Brad points out that for adding an alternator, we're really not trying to get a horsepower gain. That's not really possible. We're just trying to lose less um, through the duration. And as we lose power, we or we lose power as we lose the voltage is, is what he told me. And with a 12 volt, Brad does recommend, uh, if you're using a 12 volt battery, he does recommend using an alternator. However, if you are at a, using, a, especially with a late model, where you've got a 16 volt system, that is overkill. And also as a little caveat, the batteries we're talking about with these alternators, we're talking about a standard lead acid racing battery. Um, Really, lithium batteries bring up an entirely different question, so if anybody asks that, we'll, we'll address that. Uh, now, so that, that's our 602s, a lot of times use the, the 12 volts. And when I talk to Don Blackshear, he recommends using an alternator kit um, due to the constant ignition voltage. And especially with a 602 HEI, he had several customers that were finding that they were getting sluggish towards the end of a race during, during restarts. And as soon as they put on an alternator kit, it really solved that problem. Um, now, when it comes to the 604s and the 16 volts, you know, he, he also agrees that the 16 volt batteries is more than enough, but it depends on your maintenance program. So if you're a little bit lazy one week and forget to charge your battery, an alternator will, you know, make up for that. Um, and you won't have a problem. And then now we move on to, to Steve Hendren from Hendren Racing Engines. And with an HEI, uh, the HEI distributors like in the 602, he says, yes, but it really depends. So in an asphalt application where you're running a lot of electrical items like an electrical fan and, and items like that, he definitely recommends running an alternator. However, in a dirt application, if you're looking at a 15 to 20 lap feature, you really don't need it. It's just one more piece of equipment that has an opportunity of, of failing and, and costing you a race. So, you know, here we've got the 602s. We, we have a couple of different answers on this, and a lot of that is your personal preference and your maintenance program. Now, he also told me that if you're using a, a not HEI, uh, but a regular billet distributor with like an MSD box, uh, they've done an experiment with a, a, on a late model where they they had a car that had a battery that was basically dead. I mean, it wasn't all the way dead, but they needed to jump it in order to start, um, start the car. And they found no difference between a fully charged battery and one that was, you know, needed a little bit of help there to get started. The reason why is an MSD box, it can fire a full charge, um, even down to 10 volts. So if you get below 10 volts, you'll start to see sluggishness and, um, and, but the 10 volts won't even crank a race car. So those are our complex answers to do you need an alternator on a crate engine? Uh, really comes up down to you know, your program or what you're doing in your particular conditions. But I hope this gives you some more information to make your own decision. Now, I'd love for more of you to participate in our tech question of the week. Uh, just leave a comment in, our, in the comments below. And if we select your question, you'll win a Crate Insider prize pack. And that includes a t-shirt, a hat, a couple of koozies, and a $25 gift certificate to our store. So thanks so, so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Check out our website. And we'll see you next week.